Hello and welcome. My name is Ahmed Yassin and I'm going to be your pre-calculus teacher for this year. In this video, I'm going to give you a brief about all the topics that we will cover in this year and what are the main and basic ideas you have to know at the end of this course. We will start with the units that we will cover during the year, starting with chapter 1, which is the polynomial functions. In this chapter, we are going to give the definition of a polynomial, what are the types of polynomials, how to find the domain and the range of different polynomials, how to graph certain polynomials, how to find zeros for different polynomials, how to solve some quadratic and higher order equations. After that, we will go move to the fundamental theorem of algebra, and use it to find the complex solutions for different type of polynomial equations. We will finish this chapter by talking about the higher order polynomials functions and systems. After that, we will move to chapter two. In this chapter, which is entitled by radical and rational functions, we will start by giving the parent function and how to graph them. After that, we will talk about different types of radical functions and rational expressions, how to find the domain and the range for radical functions, how to graph them, how to find the asymptotes for the rational and the reciprocal functions. After that, we are going to talk about the transformation of rational functions, and we will focus on two main functions, which are, which are, which are the piecewise defined function and the step functions. We will know how to graph them, how to find the domain, and how to find the range for these two types of functions. After that, we will move to chapter three, which is entitled by compositions and inverse functions. We will start this unit by talking about some properties for the functions, such as one-to-one -one function, one-to functions, and we will connect these properties, which is one-to-one -one function with the inverse function. There is a relation between the inverse of a function and the one-to-one -one function. We will know them. We will know this relation in this chapter. After that, we will move to the inverse function, how to find the inverse of different types of functions, how to graph them. At the end of this unit, we will focus on two connected functions. Connected means there is a relation between them which are the logarithmic function and the exponential functions, how to find the asymptotes of these functions, how to graph them, how to solve them, how to find the x and the y intercept for these two types of function, f exists. Chapter 4 and chapter 5, as you can see, they are connecting to each other. We are going to talk about the trig functions and the trig identities proof using the trig identities and equations. In chapter 4, we will focus on the trigonometric functions such as the sine, the cosine, and the tan. First, we will start by introducing the radian measure for the trig functions. After that, we will know how to graph the sine, the cosine, and the tan function. We will learn some new terms such as the periodic the period of a function, the symmetry of the function, and we will apply some transformation on trig functions. We will know how to graph the functions under these certain types of transformation. And we will finish this unit by finding the inverse of the trig functions and to use them in order to solve the equations in the next chapter. In the next chapter, which is chapter five, trigonometric identities, the identity means there is a relation between the trig functions, we will know them during the class, and we will use these identities to prove certain uh, questions and cer certain. Uh, we will use also the identities to solve certain equations. Also, we will prove some identities that contains addition and subtractions for the sine, cosine, and the tangent, and we will solve them, we will use them to solve different type of trig equations. At the end of this unit, we will know we will introduce two new laws, law of sine and the law of cosine. We will know the difference between these two laws. When is the appropriate time to use this type of uh, these types of laws? It depends on the question, and we will use them. 
to find the unknown measurement in right and non-right triangle. In chapter 6, which is the complex plane, we will start with the complex number, the definition of a complex number. Then we will find the conjugate of the complex numbers. We will use this conjugate to find the moduli and the quotients to a complex number. After that, we will find the distance between two points and the midpoint between any two numbers in the complex plane. Then we will apply some transformations on the, in, with the complex numbers. We will specify a sequence of transformation that will carry a given figure to another. The last unit, which is the matrices, chapter 9, we will end this course with this chapter. First, we will define what do you mean by a matrix, what do you mean by a square matrix, what's the zero matrix, what's the identity matrix, how to find the inverse of a matrix, how to find the determinant of a matrix, etc., etc. Uh, I want to show you the grading scale in order to have an idea when we get an A star, A or B plus, etc. It depends on your marks. This is the grading scale. If you want to get an A plus, you will have to collect 95 out of uh, or above out of 100. A is 90 to 94, etc., etc. I can't wait to see you in the class. You have a nice day.